On this episode, we are traveling back to Texas for the second time this summer. Back in June, we visited Ranch Ferry for our annual pig hunt, and as per usual, we shot some pigs, and we had a great time. On this second go around, we are heading to Nick's Deer Lease. This is the same property that we hunted turkeys on back in April. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Back in June, Nick traveled to the Deer Lease himself to do some scouting and get a little bit of hunting in himself. So without further ado, I'll hand it over to him. Headed back down to the Deer Lease right now. It is currently 109 degrees. It is scorching hot and has been for pretty much the entire month of June and now this whole part of July and looks to be the same for the next couple weeks. But two weeks from now, we got Jake and Crystal, Ted, our new intern Cole, and my girlfriend all coming down here. And we're gonna hog hunt for four or five days, just see what we can get into. So I'm headed down right now. I got a handful of these new Exodus cell cameras and I'm gonna put them out over some, what little water we got. I hopefully I can find some water I'm gonna go try to find some water and get some spots set up that we can hunt. We've been getting quite a few hogs on camera most of the summer, so I think with a little bit of enticing with some food and water, should have some spots set up where we can have some success. So even as, as hot as it is right now, and we hadn't had any really good rains six weeks or so, we got this pond here has got, I mean, a really good amount of water in it. It usually holds water pretty good, but I mean, I'd say this is probably about half full but we got this windmill behind me here pumping and it's pushing water out of this pipe up here. So it's just a slow trickle right down here. That's helping keep water in here for sure. I mean, I sure would like it to rain some, but you know, we'll take what we can get. Plenty of deer tracks and everything, I mean, around it, but it's pretty thick. Back up in there, it's just one real big mesquite flat, falls off into a dry creek bottom, wraps around and goes off the property. And usually you see them coming from over in there. And here you can see, there's a little wallow right there and a bigger wallowed out spot right there. And pigs been coming and laying in the mud right there, rolling around. A couple more fresher wallowed out spots right here, seems like. and they just started coming down along the, the edge of the pond and a whole wad of all the piglets, shoats and everything went by me. Then one of the bigger pigs come walking by and checked up right there like 12 yards. It was looking right at me. It was hard quarter two. I put it right on the point of the shoulder. Seen the arrow hanging out backside. Complete pass through, but it's not low, so I don't think there's gonna be much blood. But I think that pig's dead right there. I'm gonna ease up here and see if I can find this pig. Oh, I got some light. I'm not trying to be out here battling rattlesnakes for a pig. All these deer are spooked. That pig's gonna be dead right there. There it is. Right there. This pig didn't run. 45 yards. All right, so on this pig here, he was facing almost directly at me, slightly quartered to my right. So I would have been seeing just barely any of this left side. Obviously I was aiming for the point up here of the shoulder and I hit back. There's the entry there. The exit is back here. Run right through him and he didn't go but 30 yards. Well, we made it to Texas. This is round two for the summer, I guess. I didn't go down to when they went with Troy because I wanted to come to Nick's deer lease, I guess. I figured we might as well do two different trips just because we enjoy the pig hunting. Seems like you guys enjoy watching it. There's quite a few pigs on Nick's place here, it seems like. so. Yeah especially the one spot we have water. It's dry as you can see. It's been over 100 degrees pretty much since the end of May, every single day with no rain. 
Thank lowest you. high that we have while we're here is 103 degrees, so it's it's still pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, it's warm. But I come down here uh, it was two weeks ago, uh -huh. and I put out three uh, of those Exodus cell cameras. Yeah, and got one set up over some water, uh, and it's had a lot of activity, a lot of hogs, turkeys, deer. They've yeah. been all over it. The cows. Yeah, uh, the cows have turned. Yeah, I think you put two of those cameras out, and they they slowly got turned around by the cows. But even when they're upside down and stuff like that, they're still getting pictures of pigs. So yeah, we got here last night, cruised around a little oh, bit. Yeah. yeah, we kind of just rode through the property, pulled some cards out of cameras and assessed the different feeders. We got a ton of protein we're gonna put out in our protein feeders and then some corn for our corn feeders just so deer have something to eat. Cause you can tell there's not a lot of natural stuff for them to eat right now. Yeah. Everything's pretty pretty well dried up. Got some nice bucks on the cameras we were looking at last night and we were just sneaking up to one of the feeders to see if there's any hogs there and we rolled up on three bucks together. Two of those were pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So I imagine we'll see some deer tonight at the very least. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna drive around, fill everything up and see what else we get into. Yeah, try not to overheat too much. Before we get into the video, there's a couple things Hayden wanted me to mention, that we have a bunch of natural gear stuff on the website. The four-wheel drive hoodie sold out real fast last year. We got a bunch more this year, so be sure to get on there, even though it's warm right now, get one of those for this fall. We have the new magnetic phone mounts for your bow, Painted Arrow is making. We partnered with them on. Hayden tried those on the hog hunt. You'll probably see us using them all fall. Those are available. We have multiple different pants available now on the website, and the M2 is back in stock. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go sling some feet. This holds 600 pounds. Wanna try eating any of this? Like that. Yeah, that's about Turkeys, all sorts of wildlife, but we're after pigs tonight. I wanted to talk about that cell camera we got up over there. That's Exodus's new camera, the Rival. It's a much more affordable option than they've had in the past. They got them listed at 179 bucks, and Nick's had two of them out here. And aside from the cows messing with them and knocking them over, they've worked really well so far. They're super user friendly. They got the barcode on there. You just scan to set them up. And then with their app, all of us at THP can be signed in and be viewing the same cameras. It's nice for hunting clubs, just sharing pictures with your buddies and whatnot. And another feature that we also like is where you can go in. For example, one of the cameras got knocked over and it was just facing pretty much nothing. So we were able to go into there and turn it to a setting where instead of it sending real time images and it's sending a bunch of pictures of just leaves blown around, it only sent pictures every 12 hours. It just saves a bunch on the Data. You can also go in there and request high definition images. So this camera is pretty far away from the water hole, probably 20, 30 yards. And you can tell if it's a buck or, and usually even a nice buck with a low resolution image. But I think Nick's dad's been going in there and requesting high definition images for the bigger bucks just so you can get a real nice clean picture to your phone. So if you're in the market for a new, more affordable cell camera, check out the rival. But these pigs have been showing up pretty early in the afternoon. So we're gonna start watching here. Oh my god, do you see them? Yeah. Said party time. 
kind of like doing that to people. Do I? Kind of like to get in on their hunt and shoot them. <laughs> Ask Whitney. Yeah. I wish they would have found that corn and come down there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully in the next couple days they find it. I don't know if they'll go back and use that water hole again or not. It's not like we shot them over the water hole. Yeah. We probably covered over 100 yards or 100, 150 yeah, yards from it. Far. Texas pig. Mm -hmm. The old woodmaster. I wanted to shoot one with my deer rifle. Yeah. Let me see that. I'll trade you in case another one comes out. Alright, you want to drag him out for me? Uh-uh. I'm not touching it. Do you get good footage? <laughs> no? Say it's a little dicey. <laughs> I think I was over your shoulder though. Like I had you and the pigs in the shot, but like, was it in focus? <laughs> oh no. Let me tie my pig. Can I throw it on the hood? I guess. <laughs> Did you ride, huh? I have all. That thing is not allowed in my car. Did you ever think you'd have a uh, pig on the hood of your car? No. Woo woo! Oh, yeah. Yep. So, y'all just kind of showed up and killed out? Take a bit. What Jake happened? Jake kind of likes to steal it right so. under you. Were you drawn back? No, they came in on the other side that we were sitting, or laid in the cold mud, and then took off. So we tried running after them, and then, like, we got close. Yeah, probably 25 yards. But she did get a pretty good job. I was a little sad. And they, I'm you? like, you should go after them. <laughs> she wanted them. Uh -huh. I did, really bad. But we're over it now, we're past it. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, it's the second afternoon and me and Rachel are headed into where Jake and Crystal hunted yesterday afternoon and Jake shot that one pig. There's been a whole lot of stuff coming in here, so I feel like we're gonna have a pretty eventful evening. You feel pretty good about it? Mm -hmm. She feels good about it, so we're gonna get on in there. Push it off, push it forward. Yes. Whenever you're ready, just put it on the shoulder. Yeah. Just put it on the shoulder and just squeeze the trigger real slow. You got it. You smoked it. You smashed it. You smashed it. Good job. Good job. You did so good. Oh my God. Crushed it. It fell right there. Hey, good job. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh my god, my ears are ringing, but it's Shh. down. I see. The, I see a bunch of them taking off now. I hit the big one. Yeah, you, you <laughs> smashed it. You smashed it. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Oh, it didn't kick bad at all, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, it's just the ringing, but yeah. oh man, it I'm like bad. shaking. <laughs> I can hear you breathing. You can hear me breathing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did really good, though. You took your time. I kept watching. I got my you, finger off it until I was ready. I wanted you kept, to pull it. You, you, I saw you start a couple times well, and then, then the stop. I would move in front of it, and I wanted the big one. That's awesome. You're laughing so much, it's killing me. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you think about that? He's down. He's down. Smashed. Smashed. <laughs> All right, we hope you guys enjoyed that video. We had a bunch of fun down in Texas. Big thanks to Nick and his family for letting us come down to their place. We had a ton of fun. And looking forward to hopefully going back in the future. Fall is quickly approaching and we got some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline for you guys. Zach's been working really hard on the elk videos from last fall and they've got a bunch of really exciting stuff that we can't wait to show you. So stay tuned for that and the deer tour will be here before you know it. We'll see you on the next one.